Hey guys, Julia here. So this is the second part of the spring tour of our garden. Um, in this video, I will be showing you our backyard. So the backyard is a little bit of a fail. Uh, it's still very beautiful, but this is not what I had in mind for this front bed right here. I actually um, planned to have purple, pink, and white tulips here. Uh, but specialty varieties like the fringed or the parrot and as you can see I Got very few of what I wanted. I mean the red tulips are gorgeous and so are the yellows the yellows are actually fringed um, I mean look at that So because these are all mislabeled or like 95% of them. I don't even know the varieties There are only two varieties that I'm sure of is this white one right here, which is signature fringed, and it is stunning. The uh, fringe on that, it looks like frosting to me. And also this gorgeous tulip right here, which is called Alibi, and it is very big tulip. So, um, some of them haven't opened yet, so it's going to be a surprise. Um, those will be interesting. Uh, the red tulips look beautiful, but they're not in the right spot. Uh, so what I'm thinking about doing, I probably will cut them and bring them to my neighbor who loves red. And the idea for the backyard was to have these three beds. So this is the front bed. Then there is a bed right there. And there is a bed all the way in the back and have layers of different types and colors of tulips, but kind of in the same color scheme, the pinks and purples and whites, but it did not work out this year. And it's okay, I will try again next year. In fact, I have um, big plans for this bed. I removed a large swath of invasive spirea from there. So there's a whole place where I can plant something in the summer. I'm thinking about building a path going this way. So we'll see how that's um, going to turn out. I wanted to show you another special plant. This is Fritillaria persica and this is the first time I'm growing it. I am so impressed with it. Such a beautiful plant. The foliage is gorgeous. Even before it starts to bloom, it has this powdery blue foliage, uh, stunning flowers, dark purple. And um, fritillarias are underused in the gardens. I'm not sure why. They are expensive. I um, agree <laughs> with the price point uh, being a little bit too high, but they are deer resistant. They are perennial. This is a checkered fritillaria right here. Also, um, first time growing it. I've seen it grown before, but it is such an adorable little plant. And this is my second bed of tulips in the backyard. This combination is called Night in Paris, and it's absolutely beautiful. The white, the pink, and um, dark purple. Um, unfortunately, this batch of tulips, uh, a lot of them died over the winter and I had gaps in my bed, but fortunately I forced some white tulips in pots and I was able to fill some of those gaps. And as you can see, these tulips are also kind of short. And I've seen um, a lot of people asking why their tulips can be short and there are a number of reasons. So the first reason is short chill period. Tulips need a certain number of days in the cold to produce a nice flower quality. And a lot of Southern <laughs> gardeners do not have enough chill period in their gardens and, and end up with short tulips. Another reason is a very dry spring. And in fact, we had very dry spring and during tulip development, they need a little bit of water to uh, develop a good flower. And the last reason, uh, or one of the other reasons, is uh, quality of the bulb. If you have poor uh, bulb quality, they're going to end up being shorter, smaller, stunted. And I think I had all three reasons kind of collide. Our winters were shor short, 
this past winter and also very dry spring and the quality of the bulbs wasn't great. And this is the last tulip bed in the backyard. Uh, some of these tulips are past their prime, but I think they still look absolutely beautiful. Um, this uh, mix is called Pink All Season Mix. So I do not know what the individual varieties are, but I think the taller ones are Pink Impression because I do have other Pink Impression in my garden. And they are big, you guys. So I had some broke in the wind. I mean, look at the size of this. They're so beautiful. They are 400 tulips here. So when you're planting your tulips this fall, you can imagine what 400 tulips in the grouping looks like. I actually had 500 in the box, but 100 of the bulbs were not good. So I had to toss them. But I am just enjoying looking at this every single day. This is like a painting, a work of art. Or if you think about Kirchenhof, which is um, beautiful tulip and other bulbs uh, garden in Holland, which I plan to visit one day. I am imagining this is my mini Kirchenhof garden right here. And with the light, all of these tulips change throughout the day. They open wide in the middle of the day. And now at the end of the day, they're sort of starting to close. But I think digging all these holes <laughs> was absolutely worth it. All right, you guys, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.